Hello everybody, welcome to a beginner's guide to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and its overall excitement from MinMax. MinMax is a place about games, friends getting better. I'm Ben Hansen, thank you for being here. Joined by Grant. Hey, how are you? Joined by old Runny. Hello. I'm doing well. Here's the thing. We're going to be unpacking a lot of Final Fantasy VII Remake Rebirth in this discussion. No big spoilers. We're trying to create an on-ramp for you. And here's the here's the kicker. Here's the twist. Uh, this is a sponsored stream, thanks to Square Enix. This is a sponsored stream where we're talking about Final Fantasy VII, which is a dream come true for us, because oh, yeah. you might recognize us in our dweeby faces from the deepest dive on Final Fantasy VII Remake, where we talked about that game for 14 hours straight on MinMax's, not straight, but you know what I mean. Close enough. On MinMax's YouTube <laughs> channel. Uh, there's a lot of recorded history of us enjoying Final Fantasy VII on this channel, so I hope you enjoy this sponsored content. There's uh, links below uh, for all of your shopping needs. Um, but to be clear, I'm not going to be tainted. All of the money is going to these two goobers, so they're bought and paid for. A lot of it. <laughs> not me, Bring just to be clear. on the taint. <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want any asterisk when it comes to me talking about my feelings about this game for uh, the Game of the Year stuff in Mimex, so all the money's going to them. It's already right. locked in as my number one. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Also, I want to point out, too, just to, in the interest of full disclosure, it's just this one... Uh, podcast that is technically sponsored by Square Enix. So we're doing the deepest dive on Rebirth, creating the best and most sort of discussion about the game on the internet. That is not yeah. sponsored content as well, so expect to hear nothing positive about Rebirth. <laughs> no, we're going to be losing our minds about that. Uh, so we're not diving in big on spoilers. I I've played the demo. Ronnie, did you finish the demo? <laughs> no. Okay, okay. <laughs> Grant, you haven't started the demo for Rebirth? Oh, I finished it. When Did you? you? So he's, 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 <laughs> it's very, he's, he's, he's it's like, very emotional wait, and uh, weird to try and communicate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll let you guys unpack it, but it's a, I feel like it's a lot of me being a weirdo uh, dictator of what would make the best content. <laughs> sure. One minute after you, you, were ra you were razzing him, I'm like, <laughs> Well, if he's playing, I'm gonna play. <laughs> it's just immediate. And here's the thing: is it's like, yeah. So, so Ben immediately. So, like within ten minutes of starting this game, I get a picture. I get a screenshot. I get a picture texted to me with just my my name saying that I'm playing the demo. He's like, "Oh, you're already starting to play the demo." Hey, That's Ronnie. interesting. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm like, I'm like, okay, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I, okay, second, okay, second, okay, second. I thought we could play the demo. Getting a 26 day head start. Yeah, you? exactly. Right. <laughs> Just yeah, exactly. it's the worst. <laughs> it's like, okay, so should too, I not worry. play it? He's like, no, 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 no. You can, you can play it. I guess. If you just no, really want okay. to. And so well, I stopped playing. So I stopped playing it. <laughs> and then I asked Grant. <laughs> I'm like, Grant, have you started the game? He's like, yeah, I, yeah, I beat it. <laughs> it's literally the same moment that you were giving me crap about all this. <laughs> well, because yeah. here's the thing, I am obsessed with, like. You know me, hashtag content. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you were burnt a lot in like at the old yes, uh, game of Thrones place because the best discussions would, see, would be yes. outside the yes. studio yeah. and away from the microphone. And, and then God you'd forbid. want you'd want them to capture that spirit, and, and they weren't yes. able to do it because they were emulating a, a conversation that they already had. Thank you. That is exactly yes. it. And so <laughs> I'm weirdly militant, even when we did the deepest dive on remake about like yeah. just don't discuss anything off camera because I know right. if you're sending texts like this part's crazy, it's just. Why not save it? You're making yeah. content better for thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Totally, totally. You know, it's, you're, you're, yeah. you are right. Okay. I mean, like it, it, it's it's a small ask, okay. and and it does. Like there was, I noticed that there was a little bit of an urge. Like, man, I'm really looking forward to this game. I I want to I want to play this demo, and I did have to bite you know bite back a little bit and just kind of be like, <laughs> okay, I'm not going to play it for now. I'm going to keep on going with uh, remake because I've been playing a little bit more of uh, yeah. remake. So I mean, if it makes you feel better, all we do is just send um, that Vince. McMahon meme back and forth. Yeah, it's yeah, been a lot excited. of that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, oh. really, that's really all it is. No, no nothing. We, context, but we really can. We really can here. figure out a lot. <laughs> Space on that. Oh, hang on. At the twenty-minute mark, I think I know oh. what, part of, what part of Nibelheim he's talking about. Now. That's where he fell out of his chair, right there. Yeah, right there. Uh, oh. Yeah. So, but it is. The balancing act is like I want to go into the deepest dive on Rebirth with like peak enthusiasm. It's like if you play the demo yeah. now, we're just gonna replay it before then. So, but also yeah, I'm a that's complete what I was hypocrite because I went to like multiple preview events for this game we and know. I played like yeah. the first couple chapters, <laughs> right? Yeah, yes. And so it's like, oh god, but I I wish I was going in fresh. So I'm trying to inject that to other people, which naturally isn't fair uh, in any way. But you've been playing ah, remake instead, Ryan. Right? Yep. Yeah, I have. Uh, I actually like started playing on like when i got the ps5 i like restarted uh remake because i played it on ps4 and got to uh about like where seventh heaven was 
and then kind of stopped. Yeah. Uh, and then about a month ago, eh, just a couple weeks ago, like I, I picked it up again. I've gotten, and uh, now I'm in uh, Wall Market, um, having a lot of fun, having it, a lot of fun. And I'm glad yeah. that I did this because it, it gave me, I think it captures, like it helped me like understand again, like what I really do like, particularly about the the remake, which is like those character to character moments where they like how scoped out the characters are. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. No, Just, I, I'm yeah. totally with you. Yeah, I went back and I listened to our full Deepest Dive wow. on okay. 7 Remake, which you was were really one. fun. <laughs> Man, <laughs> I'll get into it here. Like, it is it is wild to see. There, there are literally comments, literally, comments from community members, MinMax community saying, like, they have watched that full Deepest Dive nine times. That's a that's insane. You're kidding I've me. I've seen multiple people say they've wow. watched it at least three times. That's dedication. Wow. That, yeah. yeah. That's that's awesome. Nine times. That is, going that is 14 incredible. 14 hours? I was yeah. blowing my mind. So, anyway, so I went through it again, and it was really fun just to hear so much enthusiasm. So and it's just fun to hear, like, there's so many things that I completely forgot about, even though I yeah. loved Remake. and But specifically, the biggest thing that stood to me re-listening to that discussion from four years ago was, like, I forgot how good the writing was in this game. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just, yeah. like, how they nailed those little character moments. Yes. And I had to go back yeah. and, like, uh, check cutscenes again and be like, God, this was as good as I remembered. And then yeah. I'm in the same camp as you where, um, like, when I got my Steam Deck, one of the first oh, games right, I downloaded right, right, was yeah. 7 Remake, and I played through, like, the opening section. I was like, okay, this is... I played that opening for Remake so many times. This I way, know. But it's always it's so good. so good, yeah. And then just this last weekend, I was sitting around, and the kid was asleep, and I was like, you know, I kind of want to... Go back to seven remake, and mm-hmm. so then I played like you know a couple other chapters just in handheld in the Steam Deck for that version. And again, it was just like I was so revved up to like I just want to do the deepest dive on remake again. I feel like there's so much in this that we <laughs> right, did not right. talk about, and yeah. just so many smart little character moments that it's impossible to unpack even if you have 14 hours to talk about this freaking thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. I just played the opening reactor sequence of both the the original PS1 game and the and uh, the remake too. Ooh. Just. Uh, just back to back to and it was awesome. such a stark contrast that yeah. the opening cinematic where they fly uh, through Midgar yeah. and just like seeing kids playing in the street of Midgar yeah. in places that you just never you never got to see fleshed out in the original because it's just you know beyond the limitations of PS1 yeah. and it's just mind boggling how cool it looks like <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it is bananas. Um, a lot to unpack here. And we're going to be taking yeah. uh, community calls from people in the MinMax community in the back half talking about Seven. But again, we're going to make this approachable. We're not diving into theories and spoilers right. uh, for all these things. So don't be scared off if you're listening to this and you're worried about big spoilers for Rebirth or Seven or Remake and all this stuff. Because yeah. it's a weird thing. And so, you can okay, kick, can me, you- kick me in the leg if you feel like this is gross. But it's like... We have the same interest as Square Enix at this point of like, I would like people in the community to play Rebirths because I think it's oh, going to totally. be a fascinating yes. game to talk about yeah. Yeah. no matter what, right? And so yeah. like, if you want to join for the Deepest Dive, that would be, that'd be awesome. We'd love to have you because there's a lot of cool stuff to, to unpack here. And yeah. there's a recap too at the start of Rebirth of like the story so far, kind of recapping everything in Remake because nice. even though we love that game so much, like, yeah, it, Ronnie, we were just talking about it yeah. off air about just like, there's so much stuff that you forget because Remake yeah. is such a dense game in a lot of ways. Like, oh, forgot that moment, forgot that moment, but right. you'll be fine. You Like, the recap, you'll get the yeah. big picture, I think, and it won't be a bad one to jump into. Yeah. Um, we should probably wind back the clock in a huge way. All right. Ronnie's conception. Okay. Uh, I was no, there. Talking about... It was great. <laughs> it was really sweet. <laughs> I had to describe it. Uh, Heartfelt moment. <laughs> no, talking about uh, how we got into Final Fantasy VII yeah. originally. Because I was trying to remember, oh Ronnie, you were the first through those doors. Yeah. You blasted them open like Jesse. Uh, and f- was that right when it came out? I have no idea. I mean, that, that's a great question. Like, uh, so FF7 came out in 1997. Correct, Um The I remember playing it for the first time when I was in sixth grade. Yeah. Okay. Because that's yeah. That's the only benchmark. That's I what have I got as well. That's what I got. Yeah. yeah. And it was it was it's probably 1998 if I had to guess. Right? I w- yeah. I guess because I also feel like there was there was an overlap between because it was the next year like September of the next year that Final Fantasy 8 came out right it was just like a year was it really I, I think it was release date because I remember we were obsessed with 7 for long enough that 8 no oh, so no. 8 was 1999 so, okay. February oh, okay. 1999 was that, that okay. makes more sense we had a couple years to stew yeah. in all things 7 um, yeah you're right we did yeah so my experience was like it's probably uh, 98 yeah another friend was talking about Final Fantasy 7 because I was obsessed with my PlayStation 1 and but it was just oh, yeah. like 
Crash and Tomb Raider, just kind of the, the biggies, the classics, right? Yeah. Um, and then I remember Jaren... You never got very far in Tomb Raider. Oh, right? yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <that's> disaster. <laughs> when you say obsessed with Tomb Raider, I mean playing the demo for Tomb yeah, Raider 2. Yes, again and again, exactly, yeah. Jumping over getting a to tiger, the tiger in a cave. Yes, getting, yeah. <laughs> that's it. And then precision platforming as I made my way out of that cave. There was no <laughs> doubt about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but... What a great game. The best. Um, but I remember Jaren... Yeah. talking about and describing yep. Final Fantasy 7 and he's like oh it's like this weird city where like all the rich people live on top and all the poor people live on the bottom yeah. he was describing it and it sounded like the greatest game I've ever heard in my life oh, yeah. class warfare sign me up I said in 6th yeah. grade <laughs> no but then I remember asking him I was like I don't get it like where's the camera like what is the what is the what, what is like the perspective like what does the gameplay look like like because oh was that's what you were asking okay he was just yeah. describing okay I see yeah uh, and he said shut up nerd what yeah. do you mean by where's the camera <laughs> I got think, a date where do you think it is <laughs> yeah I'm gonna go play basketball and kiss women uh, <laughs> okay no and he's like oh the camera's like overhead or whatever whatever um, and then uh, I found out that you had it and then I begged yeah. you to get the first disc you mm. you let me play the first disc because you already gotten through it. Yeah. And I blasted through that and was obsessed blasted with it. Blasted through it, yeah. Although I was stuck all the time. I remember sincerely Danny coming over to have to teach me how to use oh, items. Oh, absolutely. Right. Because I was yeah. like stuck so immediately. He's like, well, it's an RPG. You have to use items. Like, what is no, an RPG? Yeah. And what do you mean? There's an option on the menu that says items? Yeah. Why would you ever choose that? I. So, <laughs> yeah. It's, it was the same thing. I, like, I had, no, I had no concept for RPGs. And I mean, I remember playing the game. Uh, I would just play up until the Scorpion boss. Yeah, right. Because my simple brain didn't even think to read what Barrett was saying about like, hey, don't attack <laughs> when the tail is up. To be fair, the translation was a little sketchy. <laughs> don't not attack when do the tail isn't doing. I think that's what the translation. And <laughs> when it, it was glowing really bright, that's when yeah. you want to attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could not understand it. I, I probably played it 50 60 times and i would just play that over and over and over again <laughs> good uh, game yeah good game i actually thought like in terms of like where rpgs were in my my brain i thought to myself like oh so the game ends when i blow up all the reactors right right that's all i thought i was like oh, okay well that's what this game is reactors so. like the Mega Man bosses or something yeah yeah something like that right yeah yeah yeah. You absorb the scorpion's power and you <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <You're good. laughs> sure. got a level and uh, but you still like eventually you made it beyond that then and i don't know who is coaching you debatable your dumb baby boy brain oh i had uh one of my uh my brother who was five years older than me he had a friend that uh that had played it and he was <laughs> he was providing me all these tips and tricks all the time i would not have beaten that game without him for sure i remember calling him at his home so many times uh, hi, hi. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> to the point where he said don't call me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like the PHS system. I can just talk to you for a second, please. Cemetery are materials. I don't understand. Nibelheim? <laughs> it's Nibelheim, Nibel right? Nibelheim? Nibel. And we have a special guest today. We have that man. Come on in. Righteous? I don't know what that guy's name was. That righteous. <laughs> Uh, but eventually made it on, and then uh, I was begging you for like, hey, you gotta give me this disc two because I beat disc one. Yeah, and you said, uh. and suddenly said, you got said, really uptight about like you'll scratch it. I was like, I didn't scratch the not first disc. Not you, a you chance. You would not let me it's play just that. Not, it's not within my 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 personality, <laughs> even even as a sixth grader, to be like you'll scratch it. But why didn't you let me borrow? Because you're probably being a dickhead. To me, right? <laughs> <laughs> if we're being give honest. me what I deserve. <laughs> I don't want to buy this game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but then eventually, as like. All right. Well, I won't le let this leave my site, but let's just go over to another friend's, a third party. Right. Yeah. And then <laughs> have a mediator. Yeah. And then someone to proctor your gameplay. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. then we played through all of disc two and disc three in one yes. night, and it was super fun. And Ooh, I feel like yeah. then that's where when we became friends. I was like, okay. Right. Right. Yeah. It probably was. Like, I mean, yeah. Me needling yeah. you with ten thousand needles uh, yeah, to try yeah. and get that second disc was really the core of. Yeah, and staying up, like yeah, probably till like four a.m. Just I think we saw the sunrise. I think it was. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. And then we went out and played with his cows. Yeah, it was a cool farm. Yeah, uh, it was, yeah. just like the Chocobo farm coming up in Rebirth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Grant, this is the big mystery because you were yeah. great above us. So much older. You were yeah. wiser, cooler, and yeah. also just yeah, smarter. I only but, played the Scorpion yeah. part once. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, so hang on a second, Mr. Potion over here. Hang on a second, you piece I of. Uh, 
<laughs> now wait a second. Yeah, wait a second. Was this your first RPG? Um, when I was, what year did um the Le- Final Fantasy Legends come out for Game Boy? I, I, yeah. Kill the stream. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll look it up. I'm gonna guess 1991. Wow. Okay. So that was your first. So you had you you had a you had a systemic understanding. My head was swelling with RPG. Well, anyway, okay. <laughs> you knew what items were. It's 1990 technically. Uh, 1990. Okay. Man, did that game kick my five year old ass. Really? Oh, I would imagine. Yeah. I don't know what. My, my dad picked it up because um, because some hot. Hot game store gave him a tip. Like this is the what a tip. This is the cool game for five year olds right now. It's Final Fantasy. Um, that game was hard. Turns out. Oh, I'd imagine. Yeah. Um, but then we're gonna have to jump ahead. I don't think I played an RPG from that point up until Final Fantasy VII. I think really there was a huge gap. Weird. Um, and I don't know how ubiquitous this this term is, but I first saw Final Fantasy VII at something called a lock in. <laughs> <laughs> Then this yeah, is a friendly, okay. a friendly thing that would happen at school where yeah, yeah. they'd invite all the kids in at night to sleep I, with staff and yeah. then they would lock the doors. Yeah, really <laughs> so weird, weird concept when you think <laughs> about it. I would imagine there are a lot of people that understand that concept. I think lock-ins... I mean, we went to a, in our, in such our a day. small school. I mean, if you, yeah, I guess that's if you true, get yeah. bigger, I don't think it's yeah. a thing that they would... You're right. Pop, pop right, quiz. right. Yeah, people watching live on Twitch, you down with lock-ins? Not yeah. that you still do them, but was this a concept in other schools where just like... For me, you yeah, just I sleep that. besides the teacher. Okay? <laughs> in a sleeping bag. <laughs> but I remember being there, and it was like huge video game time. It was like Mario yeah. Kart 64. That's where I first right. saw Goldeneye. I was like, what is this? This yeah. is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Play basketball, eat eat pizza, stay up late, and yeah. play video games. It was yeah. super fun. It was totally yeah. bad, yeah. So people say that at the church they had it. Oh, oh yeah, I can definitely do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, people are down for lock-ins. Yeah. Um, great, great, great. Good. So a, a classmate of mine... <laughs> Bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> Every night should be a lock-in we see. <laughs> Uh, a classmate of mine was playing Final Fantasy VII, uh, but he was at the the latest game content, like a half an hour before the end of the game. And that was the, oh, wow. That was the first, okay. first thing I saw. Uh, and the boss fight that he was playing at that time, it just rocked my world. And uh, similar to you, I had I had to borrow the first disc. Like, I need to play this. This looks incredible. Yeah. Um, so shout out to Dom uh, for having really, <laughs> really, really good tasting games back then. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And I was just hooked on it from that. Um, just chatting with him about like disc one content. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, is- it was so it, like I, thinking about my first um, kiss, my first, my first playthrough <laughs> uh, in Final Fantasy Like it would be so embarrassing to just like see gameplay from that. Be like, you don't have any material equipped. No. You, you named like, all your characters the dumbest names. Yeah, yes, yes. Possible. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> One fa, two fa, <laughs> three fa. I remember <laughs> four fa. I remember a friend convinced me to name Tifa Tifa Chu, which at the time was like, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> of course her name is Tifa Chu. Oh, that is actually really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I would, it'd be impossible. Like we have, we have a recording of you beating Final Fantasy VIII that were recorded off the VCR. Right, yes, we so did, even yeah. that, I'm sure wow. it's still you like, like the controls in a certain way. Like, sure about the basics of how to play this freaking thing. <laughs> yeah. Gotta plug in the controller, man. Uh, uh, no, but it is it is wild. And like listening to that deepest dive on Seven Remake again, it's like we talked about it a lot during that discussion. We're just like we're we're so lucky that. <laughs> one of our favorite games if not our favorite games mm-hmm. for everybody on this table it's like that that game is getting the treatment that remake is getting like yeah. that like every other like f- fan base would probably want for an older game oh which is just like a, an incredible like just listen to the music for yeah god's sakes like it's one thing possible one thing i will spoil from that uh rebirth state of play which is guys haven't watched bro come on yeah, what's going on? <laughs> Listen up, everybody. Touting knowledge over us. Uh, Iron fist Can't play a demo? <laughs> Get a lot of this. <laughs> what do you mean you hovered over the demo in the store? You downloaded it? Do you even care about the remix community? <laughs> um, no, but they said that they recorded over 400 new tracks for Rebirth. That's Damn. impossible. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a lot. And it's so... It, it's I so mean, messed yeah. up. Go, I went on this rabbit hole because... You got a, I got a baby, you know, and so it's like, well, I'm just going to keep blasting video game music and like yeah. orchestral music. And so it was like the other weekend I was just blasting all the best songs from remake and just sitting back like, what, why did I stop talking about yeah, this? I why know, wasn't I, know, I, I know. talking about the remakes after no. the last four years? <laughs> I know, I know. It is so bananas good. Like just, 
obviously Hell House boss fight and remake. Amazing. Incredible. I'm, turn, I'm just go, like in the uh, replaying through the remake. I'm yeah. just getting to that point where I get to do that again. And I do remember, I do remember that fight being like 45 minutes long. It was long. It's, yeah. it's harder it was, than you think. It was, yeah. Well, I remember there was something like, I think there's a trick that I wasn't, it was something along to do with like a scorpion items. tail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the amount of times you have to stagger that dumb house. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, man, it's was a that a fun re- reveal for that thing though? Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was so cool. They took a, side a toss away absurd thing in the Just original f- and made it an iconic moment in yes, the remake absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. but the part that killed me was listening to that music again like the music for that hell house boss fight is can you, i don't can recall you pipe it in for us right yeah now? I can't keep it on the tv it's okay. 10 out of 10 <laughs> good it is unbelievable and then there's just something about rabbit Just hole trust me. to like <laughs> it's, guys it's so when i say this good. music is good, so good. <laughs> it is unbelievable uh. um yeah and then just operation save Aerith was another track i listened to again and again and again valkyrie sure. that track uh where it's the boss fight uh, when you're climbing up on the plate. Oh, remake. yeah. Hmm. Uh, the Airbuster? I mean, like... Airbuster theme is just yeah, like... Yeah, which is like that number... Was, when I was on looking at Spotify, I was like, oh, man, I want to listen to that track again. I just have to scroll down 120 <laughs> tracks to get to this one iconic... <laughs> yeah. Friggin', yes, it's just incredible. And, and the wild thing, too, is like, okay, that's like, you know, the most intense... Well, I guess not the most intense, but the the version of the boss music for the original Final Fantasy VII that's more intense is like the da 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 Yeah, that would, that would like, let you know that you're in for a, you're right. in for a fight. and yeah. Airbuster was the first time I think is correct in I think the original right. Seven that yep. that kicks in and like, it sounds right, it's yeah. like, okay, uh, we're going to do that again except now the Airbuster track, we're going to have a full chorus. It's, yes. The Airbuster track alone is more epic than One Winged Angel was in the original. Yes. And no, it's like, yeah, and that's, I would what, agree that's with the that. game's yeah. starting point. Like, it is yeah. bananas. Uh, and then the stamp uh, theme. Yeah. We all agree. The it's stamp absolutely theme. iconic, oh, Benjamin. Oh, Pop my stamp God. Song. Oh, Whoa. man. <laughs> I'm excited to talk about <laughs> some things <laughs> in Rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> some fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. This, this guy. No, sorry. That's not fun for anybody. Right? <laughs> this guy. Here comes I'm up here. <laughs> Hang on, are we, are we done? I'm like, I want to talk about more like Final Fantasy VII. Just like, yeah, yeah, whatever you want, man. Uh, well, here's the thing is like, like going through, do you remember, do you have like a, uh, like a memory of uh, like a boss fight that just, you couldn't, you couldn't do? <laughs> or I, about I, like, I like, 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 like the ones, because I remember like, when we were talking about, oftentimes when we were talking about RPGs, like we would always talk about like the particular boss fights that we got really stuck on. Yeah. And I can remember a couple that just like absolutely destroyed me for quite a while, like multiple days, just kind of like trying over and over and over again. What was it? Uh, one was the dragon, like on top of like the ice cold peak area. Okay. Do you remember that? Sure. Like two... Yeah. 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 Uh, another one was, uh, uh, in the mansion. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yep. Uh, Optional mansion. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It was an optional boss. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Uh, the living living wall got me a few times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. And it, I think the things. Well, I mean, there was some late game stuff that I spent a lot of time on as a oh, kid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Absolutely. But the one that really stands out uh, was was pulling an all nighter with another friend too. Ooh. Um, doing the uh, battle arena at the Golden Saucer trying to get oh, trying to get Omni Slash in that I did not do that during my first first or second playthrough oh, I guarantee when that, it when that pirate ship picks you up on its little paddle and just deletes <laughs> oh, you that's <laughs> the worst are you kidding on. me deletes <laughs> <laughs> you've been deleted because here's the thing is it it toys with you. Yeah. Toys with you for a long time. And then I'm just, just like four. After, <laughs> yeah, after like six turns in, it's just like, <laughs> uh, it, there's, there's some it. RNG too with like the modifiers. Uh, oh yeah. Where you absolutely. Can be like frog status or no materia status. Mm, yeah, um, yep. I used to love it when you get the, I think the biggest payout was having uh, no materia. Um, Cause you were, you, you were just totally into like non magic materia. Yeah. That was your thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Get, just a, Physical beefcake. None yeah. Of that fancy <laughs> stuff. Mr. <laughs> Fire over yeah. here. Who needs it? I'm just going to yeah. keep slashing. Give me quad slash and I'm good to go. It Ultima. is funny hearing, Grant, like what um, your particular <laughs> sensibilities for these games. Like, listen to the deepest dive again. It's so wild. You're like, Chadley? No. Uh, I'm not going to talk to that freak. I have, I have no interest in anything to do with Chadley. Wait. Like you just, real controversial what? take there. I did Chadley because uh, <laughs> it was required for the. 
Yeah, the uh, summons. The summons yeah. Yeah. Like, so uh, eventually, maybe you turned around yeah. on that, but it was like had, for a while, you're like, I'm going to ignore uh, Chadley as long as possible. Yeah, that dingus. And I, I went back and checked the <laughs> tape a little bit. Uh, do you remember how anti Roche this guy was? <laughs> uh, now he's just uh, pass him off as Roche, Roche fan number one, but uh, checking the I tape. I think everybody was was a little cool on Roche <laughs> for <laughs> a while. I see and from the, the clips one that Jeff called him like the biggest yeah, dork or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like Jevum was the one that was like, Really, well, it was funny anti because he was convinced where he's like a character this obnoxious right. must be from the original. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> this guy is it's a brand, brand new. Brand new. Yeah, you. this is a twenty twenty <laughs> creation. <laughs> they packed as much obnoxious tone as possible, but uh, yeah. yeah, I was I was all for him from the beginning. Like the record, like the record show. The, 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 <laughs> no, I was I was first, and then you agreed, <laughs> and I said, "Wait, okay, what, yeah, will you give me the second you disc?" Yeah, you, uh, you agree that he's super cool, and I said, "No." <laughs> Because he's gonna scratch it. Seriously, get your, please don't. Gonna get your little roach fingers all over it. <laughs> uh, you want to hear other things from Deepest Dive uh, that stuts me? Yeah. Listen for the Deepest Dive on this, or do you want to talk about Rebirth a little bit? No, I, I let's 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 do Deepest Dive and then do Rebirth. Let's see, Ronnie, you were a big fan of Deadly Doge, as you called it, the materia that Deadly Doge. After you roll, yeah. it increases your next attack. I believe is what yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're yeah. constantly screaming about Deadly Doge. Yeah, I was lying about that one though. Yeah, Never constantly used lying. It. Never um, dodged once. There's a lot <laughs> of dodge. Just dodge with your face. <laughs> just eating damage. Uh, there's a lot of talk about the junk dealer um, and how much it yeah, looked like me, which yeah. is very cool. <laughs> yeah. Flattering in its own way. <laughs> yeah, just uh, a vanilla human being. <laughs> oh, I forgot about being so into this moment where there's a moment where Biggs asks for the Buster Sword so they can upgrade it. Remember? No. In the town. Very uh, early on, yeah. Yep. He's like, hey, you want to give me that sword? I'll, I'll upgrade it there for you. And Cloud's like hesitant. He's like, eh, it's been through a lot. Like, it's just like, it's a cool, yeah. weird, again, it's just those little moments that are so good. Yep. Um, I forgot that Jesse's last name was Jesse Raspberry. What? Uh, <laughs> the chance. I uh, checked the tape. I believe, I believe that's correct. Is that really? Yeah. Jesse Raspberry? Yes. Yes. What about, Biggs, what about Biggs and Wedge? Did they get last names? Uh, Blueberry and Waffle. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. I forgot. Blueberry and Booberry. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how funny it was. Biggs Mulberry. <laughs> <laughs> During like the big uh, honeybee and dance sequence, of yeah. course, iconic moments that yeah. they somehow made more iconic in the remake, which is just an impossible task. Like, how do you do that and not piss anybody off? How do you make right. a remake and by and large not piss anybody off? Like, it is we'll the find out. wildest accomplishment that they pulled yeah. that off, right? Um, yeah. But that's true. Really think about it. it. Like, yeah. no, it's yeah. remaking yeah. Final Seven. Everyone's like. Yeah, that ruled. I did just get to the. I did. I stopped like two days ago, yesterday, uh, in the Honeybee Inn. And I remember just the entire time that I'm in there right now, I'm just going like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> just like we're getting real close. Just buzzing over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there was a. No, so in that Honeybee Inn sequence, like the part that kills me is if you do like a mixed job on the dance sequence and uh, the button Im inputs and stuff yep like Aerith in the crowd is trying to be enthusiastic but like oh. she's either she's super excited for you and you're doing well like yeah. hubba, hubba. she's like so excited yeah. about her yeah and then if you do okay she has this like <laughs> like still supportive yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. supportive friend who's watching their friend blow it <laughs> yeah. and it is the sweetest yeah. damn thing in the world which I think is like encapsulates I think like Aerith's person Aerith's whoa, personality whoa whoa uh, you heard what I said <laughs> personality just like in this whole game like she's just she's super sweet and also just like it seems like she does kind of like in a way like just has a taking to cloud and his like uh, just unusually like quiet demeanor and she just always thinks of this as like oh this is a challenge just to get you out of your shell right which i really appreciate yeah pop quiz hot shot oh. just for you oh. what's her last name Gainsborough and nailed it. It's Gainsboreth. Uh, actually, now they changed it. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that optional scene where you kind of go on a little bit of a date with her in remake. And remember where she mm. light spoilers for remake in this one optional thing with Aerith, uh, where she you walk around in her garden and she makes you promise not to fall in love with her. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, well, here's the thing. I, I thought that was a dream. No, no. If it's just, a dream, I don't want to wake up. Just yours, yeah. Yeah, no kidding. No, I swear to God, that was like a dream. Like where? She... No, because you can go on dates with other people too, and those aren't dreams. You can go. On, what do you mean you can go on dates with other people? It, it's like it's 
deciding who you were who, who, nicest okay, okay. to, who you woke up first in the sewers, all that type of uh, right, stuff. To, right, to right, 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 right. Um, okay, okay. Anyways, uh, I forgot that You're the, kidding. Okay, the most yeah. common comment for this section of the Deepest Dive was climbing up the stairs in the Shinra Tower. Like really? their dialogue of them just like losing it as they're going up forever. Yeah, and you can take the elevator, but you don't need to. Like, forgot how freaking funny that is and how good that is. Uh, I forgot that the guy named Hojo That's is the absolute worst. Yeah. Like, Hojo Badman, yeah. Yeah. But he's specific. I forgot that he talks about like dissecting humans in graphic detail, like ones that are related no. to you and stuff. Like, it mm. is ridiculous how. Really? over the top they made hojo which is very fun to see yeah um, he, he really is i mean like in in okay what go ahead no just but in terms of like like, hojo, the like, like yeah final fantasy 7 um he might be one of the most if not the most evil character i think probably is yeah mm. people are saying most that, maniacal people are saying that was a dream sequence for Aerith. is that oh. true yeah apparently mm. thank you for uh correcting us in I, yeah I, yeah thank you um, I am right. Oh, because Aerith was locked in the tower at the time. But if you go on the dates with the other people, then they weren't locked in the tower. So that was like Aerith was like a dream coming through that. That's right. Mm. Okay. I think that's how it worked. Mm, yeah. Um, all that fun stuff. I, I can't wait to see more of Hojo and Rebirth. Like, yeah, he's going to be. Yes. There's he's, one he's spot going to where be he pops just, up in particular where it's like, is he going to be there in Rebirth? Like, that's going to be so weird <laughs> sure. to have that character in that environment. But okay. I think they're going to do it. It's going to be awesome. I'm fascinated. <laughs> by, by what you're talking there's, about and I, yeah, I think I know so I many know. little things leading up to that moment that I just want to see what yeah. what and how they pull off there's there's one that I I know exactly what you're talking about on the ship yeah uh, thousand but it's percent like, but knowing, are you about the vacation yes but, oh, no, okay. but talking about um, like how they nailed the tone so well in remake it's one of those things like I have complete faith like every quirky little moment I have full faith they're going to nail in rebirth like yeah the yeah. tone so far, is so the good. one thing it's just like it's unimpeachable going to rebirth. I I am so confident yeah. that they are going to make me happy for the tone of this thing. Right. I think the tone in terms of the care like the character interaction. Yes. Yes. Uh, it just like they have established something that I think is just like it feels unshakable at this point. Uh, point in case like that I have is is if you watch just the end of like interlude and just like they knew what <laughs> I feel like uh, Square Enix they just knew what people wanted. By for intermission, you mean? For interlude? 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 The Yuffie DLC? Yeah. I think it's yeah, intermission, I, I, isn't it? I thought it was interlude. Is it intergrade? It, intergrade? <laughs> is it intergrade? <laughs> it is intergrade. So with with intergrade, uh, at yeah. the very end of it, like, what did they do? They rewarded you with five minutes of just the characters interacting with each other, right. having fun, like, yes. conversation about, like, like Aerith is asking, um, just like, so when you, like, to Barrett, it's just like, so when you uh, uh, say that it's a full day's walk, do you mean, like, by the time that you wake up to the time that you go to bed, or is it, like, a full day? <laughs> right. And, like, that's, th so they know what we want. Yep. And it's that. Yeah. I wish yeah. one of her questions was, how do you reload your arm, too? <laughs> they, they, that would be so much fun if they just had one one moment. Where <laughs> of course. I feel like that's it's got to happen. It's, there's it's there's like, so much dialogue like, packed into this. Please let it happen. Yeah. It's such a weird thing. I was thinking about, like, for Rebirth and what I was looking forward to in particular. I've never thought about that, by the way. All right, <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, there's so many pillowcases casings that pop right up. But, uh, no, it's like, I think this section of Seven, of the original, like, Midgar is iconic. Yeah, I never would say Midgar is my favorite part of that game by not a mile. A not you know what I mean? So no. That's why it's so exciting. This to see. is the, part of my favorite uh, yeah. game, right? Uh, part of my favorite uh, moment in the entire series is is actually like calm and clouds past. Yeah. Um, yeah, and just like getting out of Midgar for the next uh, rest of the game. My God, <laughs> it's I like mean, it is. It's yeah. so much. Mid like, Midgar is like the. It's great. It's like a slice of bread with. But it's like the intro. Delicious aioli for the sandwich, you know. Right. right. Yeah. Right. But they made it totally amazing. Yeah. Um, Which then, like, it it does make me think about like how much of this, like, are they biting off in in terms of this game, and how is it going to compare to just like the fidelity and quality of Midgar? It's going to be really. I think it's going to be really like that's a really high standard. It feels to, like it's going to be seventy hours if. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. I mean, what was if what they was keep that up. what was remake? I mean, remake probably was like 40, 40 50? 50, Yeah. What if you don't interact with Chad Lee? Is it more like thirty-two? I think you can get through it in twelve. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna eight or nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the same length of actually. <laughs> uh, it's just Chad Lee. No, but I was thinking <laughs> about, got another mission for you. <laughs> but I was thinking about this section of 
the original Final Fantasy VII that's going to be covered in Rebirth in particular. And it's like, I, I'm so excited for it because it's it's funnier and it's yeah. darker than the original. Mm -hmm. You know, like you get into a lot more psychological stuff, which totally. is my favorite stuff in Final Fantasy VII. And like the fact that it hits that, but then also globe trotting comedy yeah. hijinks like yeah. that's all i want from a game like yeah. I, i'm good and if they can nail that tone as well as the original does and based on remake like they're gonna knock it out of the freaking park like yeah and, and it's and it's around the time that i feel like like cloud kind of turns a leaf of of just like liking the people that he's with and like feeling a little bit more like like there's a crew here yeah because particularly in the beginning like re, through a lot of remake is him just like he he very much has his, has his guard up I think he says repeatedly, show me the money, Barrett. Yeah, yeah, he show does. Show me yeah. the money. Yeah, and he says, nope. <laughs> says that a lot. So I'm really excited about... <laughs> and again, the rating was... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's going to be good. No, nope, so just seeing nope, him melt a little right? bit. Yeah, well, yeah, to see him actually, like, have, I think, like, a, more of a fun comedic dynamic, I think, particularly with, with like, Barrett. I think Barrett's yes. going to be just, like, a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah. Uh, based on what I played, I can heartily confirm that Shut there it is up. based on the press event, <laughs> like a little bit, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Having anything, played the entire game, I can confirm. <laughs> and the next one. We're sa I'm saving it, saving it for the deepest time. Uh, is there anything you're looking forward to, Grant, for Rebirth, without spoilers in a big way? I mean, it, it's like just the big picture things. I I just want to see my favorite, my favorite moments get this just amazing level of detail like this Cadillac treatment that they gave mm, yeah. the first one I, there's yeah there's just so many so many scenes that are so iconic to me mm, and I cannot yeah. wait to see what they do with them it's uh you can just say the mini game of Fort Condor too it's up there I mean, I mean, I mean we already saw it really I mean every Did we? everything from In the, the golden saucer yeah I remember that <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I thought you were going to say the minigame of Mog House at that time. Oh, yeah. yeah, for sure. yeah Ronnie joked around in, in the deepest dive being like, Mog House, knowing how they treat stuff, it's going to be like a two-hour minigame now in the new one. And it's like, <laughs> you might be, you might be <laughs> honest about that. Like, I think, I think oh, they are fantastic. falling out Mog yeah. House in a big way. It's oh, going to be wow. fun. It, yeah, it, it's, it's simple things, too. Even just like seeing summons in a, in a reimagined way. Yeah. Um, like if you get... If you get chocobo mog or something, like I, I want to see it. Yeah, yeah. I want to see it. Yeah. Also, I mean, the biggest thing is my favorite. Hey, is character. it gonna be Knights of the Round? No, they gotta yeah, save so? that. Okay. They gotta save that. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I, want, I want to hear voices too. I want to hear towns get pronounced. Um, I got bad news. It's a lot pronounced of bets. completely differently from uh, how you'd imagine. From you or me. Well, this guy kept saying it was Junon, and I kept saying it's Junon, Grant. Don't be a fool. And wrong. wrong. I was way up. But we've been saying Nibelheim our entire lives. No, you've no. been saying it. I've said Nibelheim. Nibelheim. Voice said Nibelheim. Oh, wait, hang on. Nibelheim. But I think it is Nibelheim. Yeah. It is. That's wrong. Bring <laughs> bring square. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so, some of the voice actors, they are, are so good, too. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Sephiroth, in particular, stood out to me playing, uh, like, the intro to... Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, the remake and then rebirth too. Um, they could just have him read the phone book and it'd be he's such a it'd be tease. satisfied. Yeah. Right. It's so funny yeah. what a tease he is. Like yeah. in that chapter two sequence in remake where he pops in, oh cloud. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's so funny. <laughs> Run away, little boy. He is so freaking cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And Maybe then, a little dorky. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. You say dorky or sexy? I, I can't <laughs> comprehend the English. I said why, both why at the both? same yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a specialty. Yeah, um, yeah I, I didn't really talk to you too much about that press event that I went to, hmm. but it was a weird situation uh, to be in this room and like almost all of the voice actors were there. Fun. So it was just bizarre to be playing the game and you can hear the voice actors like talking behind you. It's like, oh, Barrett is yelling in this room and he's yelling in the game at the same time. <laughs> and the voice That's actor for Barrett, he played uh, football at the University of Minnesota here. Oh. Right instead of Minnesota. This was like, a cool. fun, weird connection with him. And we yeah. got to... Um, Oh, and it was very sweet, by the way, because like was, my demo station is right next to like a big projector screen mm. and they were just like cycling through key art for Rebirth on it. And at a certain point, they put up, like, uh, Yuffie's key art, where it's, like, her on the cliff, you know, like, the classic shot. Yeah. And then, like, the voice actor for Yuffie, whenever they were, like, take the picture. And oh, fun. Tifa, the voice actor for Tifa was, like, yeah. taking Yuffie's picture in front of it. It was just, like, this is the sweetest yeah. thing I ever seen. I got to... Why did you do that in air quotation marks? Like, 
What? The voice actor for Tifa. Oh, because I felt we were being like, and then Tifa was oh, all like, nice to meet you. It's like it was the voice actor for Tifa. I shouldn't remember. I'm name. Tifa Chu. <laughs> you can. She whispered to me, "You can call me Tifa Chu," which is some great research from Square's yeah, PR yeah, team. Yeah, how they pulled that off overall. So you're Tufa, actually. Yeah, Tufa. <laughs> that, that's what we named the characters in that. In um, the, when we streamed the Midgar section. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was like Dr. Chuck Funny. Butt Mud and then Tufa and Threefa. <laughs> it's just a disaster naming <laughs> scheme. But we respect it. But I had a very... Tufa and Threefa. <laughs> That's very funny. Uh, but I had a weird uh, but delightful interaction with the cloud voice actor. Mm. Like, I talked to him for like five minutes, just one on one. It was like oh, so cool. weird to be hearing this voice come out of this dude. Yeah. Chill as a cucumber, that dude. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Just give me my money. <laughs> uh, but I did get uh, this, which we're going to be doing a charity auction. Oh, fun. For this uh, Give to the Max happening in November. So this is signed by uh, the voice actors that were there, and they all signed the character name, oh like Sang and Rude. Uh, oh, Tifa's in quotes. <laughs> she put Tifa in quotes. <laughs> that's weird. And oh, then, that's uh, funny. The games director Hamaguchi, and then Katase, the original games director. He also wow. signed it. Wow! So we'll Incredible. It up for charity that's cool. That's November, amazing. So look alive for that. Yeah, super sweet. A bunch of a bunch of other fun stuff there as well for all that funky stuff. And again, we're going to be doing the deepest dive on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which you can yeah. jump into and contribute and uh, help us create the best, most thorough discussion about that game on the internet by submitting comments for us to read by going to patreoncom minmax with two ends. If you jump in at even the two dollar tier, you can submit comments for us to read and make us have a better, more informed discussion. Uh, otherwise, it's the five dollar tier for the podcast. Please do of that. It's so nice when we get questions that just you know. Spark a nice chat. Oh, totally. Oh, I mean, and the community is so much smarter than um, than myself, yeah, at least. Yeah, yes. they, they round out everything <laughs> that we could have missed. And there's so many yeah. smart things. Listening to it again, where somebody just wrote in about like, um, you know, somebody wrote in being like, "Hey, have you guys noticed the theme throughout remake where Avalanche are cats and Shinra are dogs?" And they went through like case by case, making every point of like, "Oh, yeah, that, that absolutely is a theme that they're trying to hit." That I just had never connected. Are no. you sure I was a part of this discussion? You're, you're, you're naming a lot <laughs> you of things. You were pretty out of it. Yeah. Just, um, that sounds amazing, though. Yeah, yeah you just called us all stamp, and then your camera froze for five minutes. <laughs> uh, but then again, it's maybe an obvious point, but just like the community can like sum it up in in such a better way than we could. But like somebody wrote in at the end. And they said, like, oh, the miracle of Final Fantasy VII Remake is it it allowed you genuinely, this sounds like marketing BS, but the community wrote it in. We didn't. Where they said, like, it just it's such a miracle that making Remake, it's allowing you to play through Final Fantasy VII again for the first time. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. That, that is ultimately the takeaway, is, like, yeah. not knowing where it's going to be going exactly, but then on top of that, just, like, feeling so many emotions in that experience. Like, right. this, this really is just playing that game again in, in right. a way that I never could have expected, you know? Yeah, and... and, and uh, in a way, we're we're gonna get sequels, and that's a lot of fun. I, here's the thing that I, I I think about is like there's a lot of you know theories out there about like where the the game is going. Yeah, I cannot listen to that. Yeah, I can't at all because I. <laughs> you can just. I keep sending a Maximilian dude videos, it, and he because, says because like, I just I listened to one of them, and I thought to myself like this is there's no way that this is wrong. <laughs> It was so sound in like, like everything was so backed up by evidence and like, and this example and this example and this example is right. why we think that it's going to go this way. And it's just like, of course, how did I not see it? And I, I and forgive me, Max, forgive me. <laughs> and he did not forgive. <laughs> but I just look at it like somebody this dude. smart, like I just like. Even if I was writing the game, I'd be like, I got to take notes. Here. <laughs> this, is, this is so good. So, yeah, I just, I just yeah. Yeah, it, it was fun. Uh, I got to talk to the game's director for Rebirth a fair bit and talked about talked about some of that stuff about just like where it's going to be going in the future and stuff. And mm. it's it very comforting to have him be like, the questions people are asking are the questions we want them to be asking at this point. You know, it's cool. like the most okay. concise yeah. way that he put it. It's like, okay, we're we're on the right track or at least... They didn't think they were, they were making the most straightforward game ever, and then suddenly everyone's like, "Boom!" With explosions. Yeah, I would imagine. Like, no, 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 no. It's like it's like no, no. <laughs> they're having the fun they want to have with us at yeah, this yeah, moment, yeah. you know, which is good. I mean, it's sustained my interest in such a wild way over the last four years. Like, what? Where are they going with this? Like, it's, it's such the yeah. right level of like, here's the original. Boop. You yeah, know, it's yeah, like, yeah. Just yes. But that boop, you can't ignore the boop. No. <laughs> Uh, hey, community, Midmax community, uh, throw your hand in the air in the Discord uh, if you want to jump in and uh, talk about anything about Final Fantasy. Again, uh, we don't want to go fully down the, the rabbit hole 
of uh, theories and stuff like that. But a star killer, let's hear from you, and then I want to hear from other folks as well. Jump on up, hello, star killer. Hey guys. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Hi. Good. How are you all? Good. Great. Doing great. Welcome to the big show, star killer. Oh, I was just gonna say first of all that like uh, the deepest dive for remake was what got me into final fantasy 7 awesome. really? yeah because i mean you know ben i followed you for a long time and, and you've obviously talked about it but it's, it's just something that i've never gone back to yeah and then kind of interestingly because janet was talking about this on the podcast last week where she was saying you know there was all these mysteries and the answers weren't in remake which i agree i think that's a yeah. very valid point point. and so i said well i could look up a you know wikipedia or something like that or i could just go play the original game and find out what all the answers are and i did yeah. Yeah, and how was your experience playing the original? It was great. I I would recommend to anybody who's doing that um, because I know you've recommended Ben to do like the Switch version with the like the chips oh, sure. or whatever, right? Yeah. Which I would totally probably agree with. But um, I just used a guide. Honestly, I was like, I don't really want to wander around with random <laughs> encounters. I played yeah. the, I played <laughs> on the PC, so it was the original version. I didn't really want to wand, wander around and waste time, so I just played through a guide and said, "Here, go here next." All right, go get this material, and this will be help you out, a, yeah. you know, a little bit later on and stuff like that. And it was great; I had a really good time. To be it, fair, it would be super interesting to like hear what it would be like to actually like play that game without a guide today. Like, how difficult do you think that would be? I, I mean, I in feel terms like there, of there old would be RPGs, a, it, yeah, yeah there would be a couple head scratchers, but yeah, like yeah. just the ability in that original to have like. Hey, you hit select and it'll show you all the exits like in the art. Right. Like that just even that in Nintendo Seventy Seven was so convenient for the time, you know? Yeah. Um but again well, I, think, I mean I, I just want to emphasize like, you know, I don't think people need to play the original before jumping into this. No. You know, and not even just because this is sponsored content, but like genuinely you're fine. You're fine, everybody. Like don't feel like you're missing out on a bunch. And I think it'd be more fascinating to go back to the original after playing the yeah. I, I don't know I, I i could see it like the way that it, i mean what you had four years to just kind of like percolate on, yeah. on what happened and uh i mean it's it's i i hope you enjoyed did you enjoy your time with fun oh 100 yeah yeah yeah, okay. yeah. still a good game yeah. right yeah and it, it was it was fun so i played remake uh and then i played the original final final Lilla, original game yeah. and then i went back to remake and played it through it again on hard Ooh, and so wow. it was fun going back to remake and be like oh this sure. is what's going on or oh this is what's happening to cloud in this particular scene right i know right. what's going on now and or isn't what it, they're teasing here isn't it wild how much subtle teasing they do through all of remake but if you're playing remake for the first time you just don't even clock it it's just like i don't know yes. playing the game stuff's happening whatever but you go back and if you know the original full story of seven it's like jesus they are they're right. teasing you all over the place but it's just imperceptible you know if if you don't know what you're looking for uh yes i, I think yeah i think it's it does at least i think it very much lends itself to appreciation of just like how much they expanded absolutely everything and you can probably enjoy those those like little character nods a little bit more if you know like what the original content was coming from and I think like it does speak volumes to the fact that like you don't need to have that experience in order to hopefully like enjoy remake as a game. So, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, Starkiller, that's that was, very cool. I, I hope you enjoyed your full journey here through all this stuff. Yeah, for sure. And I, I was gonna say just to, to Ronnie's point, it's like yeah. yeah, I I went back just because I enjoyed remake so much. I wanted the answers, and I was awesome. like, well, here, here's the easiest <laughs> way to get answers. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Um, I did have one quick question for you guys though. Yeah. Okay, so imagine a scenario where you're all living in a house together. Okay. Is it mod and house or like a standard human house? It, it could be, let's say it's a standard human house. We live together well, now. you're all Final <laughs> Fantasy VII characters. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Which, which Final Fantasy VII character would you be? Oh, that's good. So um, we're all living, is, and it's a house in the world of Final Fantasy VII? No, yeah. it's just, it's real world, but you're Final Fantasy VII characters. So you're Final Fantasy VII characters? Does it have okay. to be playable characters? No. I call Shara. <laughs> no, you don't get to. No, no, you don't oh. get to. We get. Everybody gets to um, name in. somebody else. Are we assigning okay. one? Yeah. Uh, okay. Grant is Dine. <laughs> Grant's Dine. <laughs> yeah. Dine. <laughs> I was gonna. Grant was. I was gonna. Grant was Sid. I was. Oh, okay. I felt like yeah. Sid in my mind. Yeah. Thank you, for Grant. That. Yeah. Okay. I guess he's Sid. <laughs> so I'm thinking Ronnie's like Dine. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, I think you're dying. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so two dines and a Sid. Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> yeah, 
Yep, that's, I think that answers <laughs> All right. Thanks for calling in, Star Color. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Uh, ben, I kind of had you pegged as Bugenhagen, personally. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Like, yeah. Yeah, like a junk dealer if he didn't have his yeah. bottom half and he was floating around. Does that count? Uh, hello, Bob Buell. <laughs> hey! There's the soundtrack, baby. How's it going, Bob? What's going on, everybody? How are you? Hello, Good. Well. Bob, is, is it true that you went mm-hmm. back to the game club we did for the original Final Fantasy VII at Game Informer? I feel like you left a comment or you shared oh, wow, a clip yeah. from that recently or something. I was like, oh, Bob yep. is going deep. Yeah, it's it's one of those classic wormholes of, you know, oh, the related video to this is the next episode of The Deepest Dive. <laughs> oh, and sure, yeah. Next to that is the Game Informer original one. So, uh, yeah, I got very deep on this. Man, Bob, uh, Bob's uh, living in the Mariana the Trench down there. background noise while playing Yakuza. It's great. Yeah, oh, I, I hear that. Well, awesome. thanks for sharing the clip. I'm trying to remember. Oh, there's a clip of, yeah, me talking about the part in Rebirth that I was so curious about that also is what Grant's looking forward to the most that will leave KG, but. Perfect. Right. Ooh. Uh, anyways, Bob, what would you like to talk about? <laughs> well, we talked about it before. You guys talked about it before. Uh, I want to settle the debate. Who knows their Final Fantasy VII music the best? Oh, um, no. Okay, all right. Okay. I, all right. Yeah, I, like it. I can tell you out of the gates it's not me. Uh, BS. It's not. Do now, AFI talking, trivia next. <laughs> are we talking about Final <laughs> Fantasy music all, like all in all or Final Fantasy VII? Final Fantasy VII original soundtrack. Okay, yep. okay, okay. Hit us, okay, Bobby. Okay. I can get used right. to this. So Hang on, Bob. By the way, Bob, in. I just want to be clear. Have you ever seen broadcast news? Uh, I have not. No. You should see it. They say the, they say Bobby a thousand times in it. Okay, anyways, it's not important. That's a secret yeah, that's code really what have. I'm looking for out of movies. So that's <laughs> There's a whole sequence where it's Holly Hunter going, Bobby, 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 and it's... <laughs> The cutest thing you've ever you seen. You have such a crush on Holly Hunter. It I is do so yes, You absolutely do. You've been talking about Holly Hunter since like the seventh grade. <laughs> it's very strange. Hey, do you know who Holly Hunter is? Do you like the piano? Hey, brother, can I get the second disc of Final Fantasy VII, please? Just right. trying to do math. What's Holly yeah. plus Hunter plus me and a twee? Oh, I guess right. It equals marriage. Don't forget to divide by zero. Bob, hit us with some trivia. Another up. Here we go. <laughs> Rain us right. back in, Holly please. Hunter trivia. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I don't think so. All right. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Ring in with your name if you think you know the song. Hey, guys. So, Bob, to be clear, do we, we have to we name, have to the, name envi- the song? The track? Like, where the environment? Or what about the scene? I think it's going to be obvious. I'm, I'm not going okay. to. Okay. 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 Give, the, give the context. Okay. okay. All right. All right. All right. Ben! Jeez, that was. Bull- I mean, yes, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, I know, I know. I but you didn't the, even the know the third thump, but not the first one. <laughs> I was born for the thump. I live in the thump. My father was a thumper. <laughs> My iconic thump. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, by the way, okay. Wait, name yep. it. He did. Did you? Yeah. Is that oh, I didn't hear him. Yeah. All right. That was that was okay. dysregulated. I'm sorry. I can't wait to hear that in rebirth in a blown out way. Okay. Anyways. Oh my god, you're right. All right, here we go. All right, number two. Ron. <laughs> That's a Ronnie. <laughs> All right, wait, what do you want? You want, like, the 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 first time that it was... Do it. Just sit. He's trying to filibuster. The... No, I... Uh, Just say the thing. It, uh, the... Uh, make a reactor. Make a reactor. That's what we're looking what, what for. What is a make a reactor? Uh, Grant, mock a reactor? Yeah, give it to no, Grant. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Sorry, it was Kazma Kanya. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number three. Ben. Turk's Hanson. theme. That's Turk's theme. Before it even gets going. I mean, like, you, got really... it. you got the little whatever. The... Like, it starts really vibing here. God, that music rules. I, the the oh, strangest. That's very good. Strangest music from the original seven, Turk's name. It always feel like it stood out for like this is just weird. No, it snaps and it fits them. Yeah, it fits. It, it fits them. It fits They're the, cool. It's very cool. They're right. serious but goofy. You know. Yeah. I think it is the strangest. If you look at all the tracks for seven, outside of like Mog House theme, I think it's. <laughs> <laughs> Did we start Don with like Pulp Fictiony? Is what Bob? Like Pulp Fictiony? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right. There? Yeah. Okay, hit us. All right, number four. Ben, <laughs> that's Chocobo <laughs> Racing uh, victory theme. 
<laughs> That's Chocobo Racing. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> and here, just for the sake of... I got it. Yeah. Heard this a lot. Winter Circle, man. <laughs> Ronnie's never heard it. <laughs> What's the name of that guy on okay. the black Chocobo? Okay. Take a swing at you. <laughs> Anyways, Ron, what, yeah, what, uh, what is it? Butt Sebastian? No, I don't remember. No, it's like it's like it's like Tio. Yeah, it oh. is Tio. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you, chap. Okay, all right, Bob. Don't get any points for that. All right, Bobby, 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 Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, <laughs> Ron. <laughs> Ron. Take it away, Ron. Come on, man. Uh, okay, it's Seth. Okay, it's this thing. Yes, nicely Boom. done. There we go. That could have been any jazzy cat. <laughs> wow. You, you saw uh, his rendition of Kate Sith during the Gift of the Max stream. You know that Ronnie's pretty partial to that cat. Favorite character. That was favorite character. <laughs> some people are Tifa men, some people are Aerith men. Ronnie, he's bottom half Kate's of Kate a Sith. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number six. Ryan. Who got it? That was oh boy. it. Is it? That was Ronnie. Highwind. That is the high wind. I thought that was going to be the curveball here. No, that was the curveball. No. Done. I that took me a couple seconds because I feel like you hear the middle a lot, but not really the beginning. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Like this is the yes, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. That I cry every time. <laughs> it's crying right now. Yeah, I am crying. Right, it's, it's three to three. Do we want to go final question here for the tiebreaker for the sake? How many more songs you got? I do this all night. I, I mean, listen. <laughs> all right, tie, let's tiebreaker, tiebreaker. All right, here tiebreaker, we go. All, all, right, all, right, all right, tiebreaker. All comes down to this. Run. Ben. <laughs> you tell I, it. Who got it? I think that was a Ronnie. Moghouse. I gave it away. I did my hand. I said Moghouse earlier. And then... Bob. Now we need one more. I, I'm all sorry. Right, we I, need we need one more. And Ronnie won. To be clear, but. I just need to redeem myself after that. <laughs> now, the, I don't know if that's Mog House, guys. I, I hate to break it to you here. I mean, I it mean, is. here's the thing. It is Mog House. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie was born in the Mog House. You're merely adopted into it. By <laughs> can, we hear, uh, can we hear a little bit more of it? Yeah, absolutely. I think they get it multiple parts of the game. <laughs> yeah. You can hear the Mog thrust. Okay, I, 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 I know. I think you know what he's getting at. Honeybee in. Yeah. Yeah. It's hot, honey bee. Yeah. yeah. But, but. <laughs> all right, they they double what? up. They That's double up. It's, it's all about love. Do you got more, Bob, to, for a true tiebreaker? Tie break, tie break? Let's do one more. Let's do one more. I, I got a true tiebreaker right here. Okay. Thank you. All right. Ben. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> so this guy big. forgot his name. Do, do, Costa del Sol, do, baby. Do, do, do. I can get used del to this. Soul. Let's Is that right? Let's this <laughs> Ah, all right, all right. So beautiful. I I realized just the other day, where I was like, we haven't heard Sid's theme yet in Rebirth. Imagine how uh, much they're going to knock that out of the yes, arena. Yes, yes. He's going to have some emotional moments, and it's just going to be fantastic, yeah. Ugh. All right, Bob, thanks so much for calling in. I hope uh, yeah, we don't you, let you down one. for the deepest dive. Yeah, let's say uh, Grant won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Yeah. Appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye. Right. Bye, Bob. All right. right, let's. It's only appropriate. Next, we bring up someone named, yep, it's Moghouse. Hello, <laughs> Moghouse fan number one. Uh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. You're on Moghouse Radio. How many coupon notes? All right. <laughs> this one goes out to you, all you Moogles. <laughs> yeah, all you freaks out there. All right, what's happening, Moghouse? What do you want to talk about? <laughs> Uh, well, I thought I would talk about the first time I joined up with MinMax, which was during your celebration of Final Fantasy VII. Really? Awesome. Yeah, how did that come about then? Uh, I think, uh, I think I was looking maybe at some Final Fantasy VII remake coverage. Cause cool. Because I was like, I didn't have a PS4 at the time. I was like, all right, maybe I should just convince myself I don't want this game. So <laughs> I can just go by, and I don't have to worry about it, even yeah. though like Final Fantasy VII was like my favorite game of yeah. all time. Got to you know? do it then. I'm like, oh, no, yeah. no, no, I don't want it. And then I'm like, Final Fantasy VII coverage? Yeah, let's watch that. Yeah. And then you guys played the demo, and I'm like, okay. Yeah. And then just $400, 
Another sixty dollars. All right, let's go pick it up. Let's go. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> that's a bold move to for it to be your favorite game, and then and then you you try. I I, I admire that you tried to convince yourself that you didn't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> Surely I don't need this. Yeah. Yeah, I was like that. I I want the four hundred dollars. I don't want it. This Final Fantasy Seven remake. I mean, it's going to be overblown, too hyped. You know, everybody wants it for like what a deck. A decade and a half? Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. More than that. Yeah. It's yep. been it's been pretty brutal since the launch of the PS3. Since the tech demo for PS3 where they show that everyone just losing their minds. Yeah, oh, that's right. it. Since that tech demo, because I remember like after like that tech that tech demo came out in like middle school and high school, and I was just like, you hear it? they're gonna make the Final Fantasy Seven one. Yeah. I was like, oh my god. And then and it's like, oh, they're gonna make a Final Fantasy Seven movie. It's like, oh my god. And right. then it was Advent Children. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, hey, thanks for jumping in for the that so whole I, celebration we did back in the day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I mean, absolutely. I loved it. I got into it. Uh, I played the game, and then my wife, who we were still dating at the time, we weren't married yet. Uh, she watched me play it, and then she got super into it. <laughs> and she had never heard of Final Fantasy VII at all, so she has no idea. She had no idea about any of the mm. story. Or anything that happened in any of the stories. Yeah, That's uh, I got a, got a question for you. Are, are you uh, team Tifa or Team Aerith? Which one? Tifa. Or Team your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Said Tifa already. No, no, no. Said Tifa oh, already. See. My wife is with my wife is Team Aerith. I Ooh. am Team Tifa. Ooh. Ah, okay. all right, all right. Big Fisher in our household. So I get it. After she got into watching you play the remake, did she go back and play the original game, or has she been uh, teetering yes, on did. the edge waiting? Excellent. Okay. All right, very cool. Wow, that's awesome. And she did it without a guide. Perfect. Wow. Okay. How so many, it can it can happen. All right. How many times did she play the scorpion fight though? <laughs> 70, 80 <laughs> times? Like, what was it? We all know it's impossible. Uh, uh, ju- uh, just once. Um, just once. Just once. She Me figured too. it out. There was, a hint, cause there was a hint at the top of the screen. I can't. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. It's, not, it's not important. It's not important. Uh, is there anything you want from the Deepest Dive on Rebirth there, Moghouse? Uh, no, keep doing what you're doing. I loved your Deepest Dive from the previous Final Fantasy VII. I loved cool. your, uh, your Game Informer community. Uh, yeah, community game, game club. club that yeah. was a lot of fun. You guys have good discussions, and it goes at like a nice, good clip, quick, quick pace. And yeah, and as soon as uh, I finish playing Rebirth, I will go check out your deepest dive. All so right, before then, 100% will be in a cave, not talking to anybody <laughs> or anything. I hear you. All right, enjoy, Mogos. Thank you. Bye. Right, thank you. Bye. You betcha. Have Hello, Moons, bro. Hello, what's up? Hey, hello. What's up doing? with you, Moonsbro? Great. So, first, Ben, I have an important question. Yeah. Will the deepest dive on Rebirth get more comments than we got for a remake? No. I bet it'll get fewer mm. or less. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Yeah. Um, because with remake, we didn't have the rule of you can only mm. submit one comment, so we got like over 400 comments for those. And it was fun, but brutal to go through and sort. And now we have the rule where like, hey, submit your own comments in this Google Doc if you're a Patreon supporter, but also you can only submit one. And so we're yeah. probably going to get less, fewer. Yeah. A little slower. Right. Less. <laughs> Plus, he's lost 80% of his fan base. And he, won't, <laughs> he won't tell anybody that, but <laughs> look at these numbers. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so I, I think it'll be a little bit cleaner overall, maybe. Uh, but I, I don't know. I... YouTube views, I'm curious to see how this does compared sure. to the remake, because that one definitely brought in a lot of new folks to MinMax, which was fun to see back in the day. All right, I mean, that's why I joined MinMax, is I saw the G-Bike video wow. back when you put that out. Really? Wow. We were just talking yeah. about that. Yeah, we we're talking about that on Bonus Pod uh, with Jacob Geller, but like that was like a, that was the first MinMax video to like blow up. One of like four videos that ever kind of escaped our orbit in a big way. Uh, <laughs> oh, but that, cool. that's awesome. Uh, yeah, that was all about CyberConnect developing uh, the original remake of Seven and stuff, but that's sweet. Uh, anything you want to talk about, Moonsbro? All right, yeah, I have Ronnie's drawing of Kate Sid. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> How long have you been using it for toilet paper? <laughs> Is it oh, framed? It pristine. It sits. It looks at my face every day on my desk. It's yes. <laughs> oh, it's honestly, top ten best drawings of my life. <laughs> right. Without a reference, I was honestly pretty impressed. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you for your generous donation during the gift of the Max stream for yeah, charity. That's very sweet. That's very sweet. All right. <laughs> Uh, well, that's very sweet. Is there anything you want from the Rebirth Deepest Dive? Um, I want every episode 
to end with people saying what their favorite synergy move is. Oh, okay. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that. Well, hey, we should talk about the gameplay in Rebirth, too. We're so focused on the story and stuff, but there's probably gonna be a lot of combat stuff and, and whatnot to yeah, talk I've been, about. I've yeah. played the demo like five times now, squeezing every ounce I can out oh, of like, clouds, news, wow. systems. I hope you're ready for the deepest dive on that demo section yeah, alone. Yeah. We got a lot to talk about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks so much, Moonsboro. Thanks for your support. Thank you. All right, take care. Uh, Risky Crispy, welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. What's happening? What Risky. would you like to talk about, Risky? Not too much. Um, <clears throat> Starkiller kind of already touched on it, but um, I called into the bonus pod a couple of weeks ago uh, to talk to you to try and figure out, okay, I we're like a month out. Yeah. I mm-hmm. played through Midgard of the original. Do I finish it? Do I play Crisis Core? Do I play Dirty Dirge? You know, what do I what do I really need You're to fine. do to get ready? <laughs> You're and fine. Oh, I, I like that. That's a good question. Finally, this weekend, finished Final Fantasy VII for the first time, which again, wow, I was really congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, I just kind of wanted to unpack like what parts of it that I think aged really well and like what mm. I think will benefit the most from quality of life or yeah. improvements uh, from uh, rebirth specifically. Yeah. With, uh, yeah. Yeah. Without spoiling anything for rebirth. Yeah. What do you think in this section? Uh, you're, um, you're most interested in seeing how they tackle it. I think for me, the golden saucer is oh, yes. going to yeah. be the part I'm most excited about just because I know there's a lot of really quality side quant side content there that I just did not want to try to uh, sure. mess with in the original. Cause it's right. so clunky to get around and figure out the controls of like the Chocobo race. Like it all yeah. felt the uh, roller coaster. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so, um, I think, and visually that section, I mean, just from the few screenshots we've seen and stuff, I mean, it just looks absolutely stunning. And yeah. so I think yeah. that will be, um, really, really cool. Um, I feel like, yeah, gold sauce is going to be like, 25 hours it, it has <laughs> such a it has such a mix of fun and just weird stuff in there oh yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's gonna be great there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a jump scare at the hotel Ooh, okay. I hope so. yeah. like just like the ghost in the chair like that <laughs> yeah. or, the, or the little the the thing that comes down yeah, the yeah, little yeah. yeah yeah that's a great question i think uh uh um every like everything to do with sid i and and well we'll just gonna say rocket down yeah. yeah, like that whole area. I am just so curious about how they're going to like handle all that, and I think that's <laughs> going to be one moment where it's like probably the hardest hitting music that we're going to hear. Yeah, this whole thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm so curious to see how much Sid is in this game because yeah, I I know in my personal party. I did not really use him until I had to, you oh, know, later in the end. I don't think that really wow. uh, will get touched on here. Um, <laughs> just because I, I, Hang uh, up. <laughs> I, I love using Sid. Uh, it's, yeah. It's, no, he's been great. It's fun. Yeah. So they've confirmed that he's not playable in Rebirth. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. I, I, think I, I think I saw what him and Vincent are both not playable yep. in this one. They said, yeah, sure. but that, that's, I think that's fine. You save some characters yeah. for the third entry. Yeah. Like that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's fine. Um, but I, I definitely, um, <laughs> it's funny because my basis for a lot of these characters, just to show how, weird it is to play this game now in uh, 2024 was their appearances in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that sure, was the yeah, first yeah. time I ever experienced them and I remember as a kid playing th- those games specifically one where it's like it's just this redneck who's trying to sell me gummy shit parts I don't want to deal with Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really care about But it. there's yeah. so much um, more to him than a redneck trying to um, sell you gummy shit parts. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and obviously by the end of the game I think he's he's definitely fleshed out but that's one of the yeah. parts I think in general has aged the best about the game is the personality of these characters that are yeah. just these clunky polygons that somehow still have such strong personas and yeah. you know emotions that they convey. I think that uh, like you've said already tonight the what we've seen in remake shows how important those character moments and character development is to them in these yeah. games and i'm just really excited to see how much um that really does kind of shine yeah coming coming up yeah totally agree well hey risky thanks for your support thanks for calling in appreciate it hope you uh submit some good stuff to the deepest dive thank you so much i can't wait all right take care bye goodbye bye. risky chris hello nico welcome to the show nico Hey, how's it going? How are you guys doing this evening? Oh, hello. Just, just having a lovely time. Yeah. What would you like to talk about with Final Fantasy VII, Nico? Hey, good news. We got Final Fantasy Avid Children coming back to the theaters for two nights right before the game comes out. No I think that's kidding. The perfect time to meet up with people. Oh. <laughs> that would be fun. Uh, 
because you know anybody who is entering that theater is down to be peak excited talking about yeah. rebirth with you mm-hmm. you know funny. what i mean like yeah. just, if you're gonna go see a, oh, a movie in a crowd like you know those are your people who are yeah. seeing advent children in the theater yeah it's gonna be our min max viewing too you know that one think never mind it doesn't matter excuse me and this is a nationwide release across all theaters right not just like some niche theaters it's, um it's I, all over the place i think it's kidding? pretty much really? most theaters yeah wow awesome. I had no idea. Yeah. It's only for uh, two nights, though. Crazy. Do you know when it's coming up? Uh, 21st and the 22nd. Whoa. Okay. Coming up so soon. Wednesday and Excellent. Thursday. That's, that's a smart move for sure. Do you like Advent Children, Nico? Uh, I think the story's fine. It's a little bit slow, but of course, that's some of the best action scenes for uh, CGI. Excellent. Yeah. It is. It, I, I went back and was watching some cutscenes from Dirge of Cerberus, the Vincent game, and like. It's the production levels on that are wild. Like those cut yeah. scenes, if you remember them, it's like they are on an Advent Children level quality. It's it's a wild thing from a very long time ago. Yeah. Uh, but hey, Nico, thank you. Anything else you want to talk about with uh, Rebirth here or anything else? I think for Rebirth, if you guys get Maximilian, dude, for the final episode, so you got a good, strong theory crafter to oh, talk oh about gosh. theories. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, here's the thing. It's like he's so much more successful than min max is or will ever be okay and it just feels like <laughs> hey look i know you could go on top of your roof with a megaphone and talk to eight million people yeah but what if you came down to my basement and talked to a hundred it's like uh-huh <laughs> it's like there's no case i can make for why maximilian dude should come talk to us one I, uh, I, yeah, actually, I totally disagree 100 percent uh the answer is is hey we're passionate about this game and so are you do you want to talk about it yeah I'll I'll try to reach out, but I don't really have contact info. But I did meet him at the uh, at the press event. Yeah, he, he, he refused to give you contact info, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, my guys will be in touch. My guys will be in touch. All right, thanks, Nico. Appreciate the support. Yeah, have a nice evening, guys. All right, you too. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye. Evan, children. Remember, we did that commentary track for Patreon supporters. Right that's what forward. I was trying to. <laughs> oh, that's what you're that's referring what I was trying to. I cannot remember like how to phrase that. <laughs> Hello, born Stevie boy. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, hey really good. What's up? What do you want to talk about? So I want to talk about how I got into Final Fantasy VII by playing and consuming everything that wasn't Final Fantasy VII. Ooh, I can, I can go on. on. I, I knew like when I was a kid that you know Final Fantasy VII was like one of the most famous games of all time. Mm. However, I didn't have a PS1. Um, so I started with Crisis Core on the PSP. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then I watched Advent Children. I'm like, yeah, I understand these these references. This makes sense to me. Weird. Uh, <laughs> and then I played the Dirty Dirge at my friend's house. I'm like, yeah, this is a quality. Everything shooter, but as okay. one does. Yeah. Certainly uh, dirty. So, <laughs> so once the remake came out, I was just like, I felt like I did know it, even though I really had no idea what happened in this game. Oh, what a fun path to get there. That, yeah, what fun, a fun path. Because be like, oh, I'm kind of nostalgic and familiar, but it's all completely new. Like, that would be a weird, cool way to experience Remake, I think. Yeah. Right. So I did play 7 eventually on Switch after the Remake came out. So okay. I am, I'm was, ready to go now, but... Was that surprising? Like, like how much you thought that you knew about the game versus then, like, actually playing through the original content? Was there just, like, a moment of, like, oh, my God, I didn't oh, yeah. know m- most of this? Right. Like when you find out that like Barrett and Sid have like actual character arcs and like stories. Sure. Yeah. 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 Like they're in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Right. It's <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. And Barrett's in Kingdom Hearts me like, let me shoot up your gummy ship for you real quick. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Just, it could be more complex. Uh, right. Up. That's going to be a fascinating journey born Stevie away. But hey, you know what? Takes all kinds to to eventually lead to the end of the road, which is Final Fantasy VII appreciation, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, thanks, Born Stevie Boy. Thanks for the support. No problem. See you All guys. Right. Take care. See ya. Bye. Have a good night. Uh, we have Not Weirder. Hello, Not Weirder. Hello. Hello. What Hello. would you like to talk about, Not Weirder? I want to talk about something called the Final Fantasy VII Remake World Orchestra Tour. Yeah. Wow. Now okay. we're yeah. talking. Is this a thing that happened in the past and we missed it and we're fools? Unfortunately. Yeah, it happened oh, wow. two years ago, 2022. Oh, March gosh. is when I saw it. I like full disclaimer. I'm not a Final Fantasy Fantasy Seven fan yet. Yeah, it'll change. It'll change eventually. But That's fair. Okay, no, we yeah, have perfect. a friend who's a big fan, and just kind of on a whim, we decided to go. And if they do the same tour for Rebirth, it is like full 100 percent recommendation. Just incredible. You saw that Game Awards performance with yeah. like yeah. the whole orchestra playing. It's 
it is so good. And at the end of the concert, they kind of did a fake out where it was like, okay, we're ready to go. Then the lights turned red. They played the Sephiroth theme. Oh, oh that's, that's good. So incredible. fun. Do you know that they play tracks, a lot of tracks that just exclusive to remake? Or do you think it was a lot of kind of stuff that's It was all remake. They had a little screen uh, on top of like the orchestra or behind them. Yeah. That was showing gameplay. So yeah, a lot of like, they had like the Honeybee Inn. Oh, they wow. The okay. They had like all the hits they had, the battle theme. It was all like with <laughs> gameplay behind, not live gameplay, but yeah, you, got, yeah. you got the vibes. It was really, really good. Oh, I'd love to see it for sure. I know there's a Final Fantasy concert coming through St. Paul. Yeah. Did you see that too? Oh, uh, it was in like April or May? Yeah. Somewhere it's oh, wow, coming okay. up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that yeah, would I'm be sure awesome. I'm going to play something from 7 or 7 Remake there. So I'd, I'd go, honestly. It's definitely worth it. Yeah. If they have like a Rebirth specific tour, like I'm, I'm yes, there. Yeah. But yeah. it's just like. Look, I like Final Fantasy soundtracks. I'm a big theater rhythm fan, you know, but it's like, I, I would just want them to do all of remake soundtrack. It would be just me waiting for <laughs> yeah, the remake soundtracks. Yeah. Right, yeah, right. Uh, well, thanks, Not Weirdo. Thanks for calling in. Yeah, thank you. All right, take care. Bye. Uh, last call of the evening here. Uh, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Hey, uh, hey Tanner, what's happening? Hey, Ben, are you really a theater rhythm fan? Because I don't remember making the two tunes. <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, call him Get out. Get back, Tanner. <laughs> You saw that crowd. I was dying out there. They weren't throwing me a bone. He hated Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> Even Sarah tried to put her up and be like, hey, there's songs for Final Fantasy 14 in theater rhythm. And she still, she spat at me. She spat at me through her webcam, Tanner. Uh, anyways, Tanner, what would you like I, to talk about? Um, so I had two things. Um, one was like baseline OG Final Fantasy VII Sephiroth and Genova, but maybe that's like even a little too deep. Sure. Um, yeah. if, if you want to get into that, we can. But just from my experience, so I played it for the first time in college, which was like, I think it's like 17 years. No, not 17 years ago. The game's like 17 years old, right? Um, wow. Well, we can't do math. It? No, it's, it's more than I can't do math either. I think okay. it's, 20, it's like 10 20 years six, for me. 26 um, years? Yeah. 26 or 27? Depending oh upon God, what I'm not even that old. But... No one knows. <laughs> <laughs> I, I played it on the Vita, actually. That's how I first experienced oh, it. Oh, interesting. Oh, what a fun I think it's kind of nice because it's, it is a smaller screen, so it kind of hides some of that blurriness, I guess, of the original release. Mm. Right, but, right. But I think if you have like any nostalgia for this time period, the two things that stand out are those pre-rendered backgrounds, which are still just like really nice to look at. Yeah, yeah. totally. And then, of course, what we've talked about a lot here, which is the soundtrack. Um, yeah. I think... Like, I, I, for me, it's just like ever since it's been the like, you know, lo-fi beats to study, chill, whatever. <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and I was just curious, like, I, I wrote in the suggestions channel one time, but Ben, have you ever looked into, I can't say his name right, Ma, Masashi Hamatsu before? I don't think so. He's the, he's one of the composers on Remake. He Ooh. did as mm. well a t 10... The 13 trilogy, most uh, notably, and uh, I think even maybe like one of his first projects was Dirge, actually. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. What's your favorite track from Dirge, Ron? <laughs> the, the, the original track, uh, Dirty Dirge, Here We Go. <laughs> Dirty Dirge, Here We Go. <laughs> Dirty Dirge, Here We Go. Rum, rum. <laughs> Sephiroth's er, See, you remember up, it. Putting on his little claw arms. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel I feel bad that I don't remember uh, the composers' names for remake because there's multiple composers, so it's like, well, we know Uematsu, and then it's yeah, it's it's on us, and we should be ashamed of our words and deeds that we're not creating statues for uh, those composers it, for remake. No, yeah, that's yeah, very true. <laughs> so, do you want to build that yeah, statue for us, Tanner? <laughs> I don't know if I could, but I think I think it'd be cool to to maybe look into him at some point because he's got an interesting story. He was, I think he's born in Germany and like grew up there before moving back to Japan. <laughs> and I think that somehow reflects in his music. He claims oh, very it's cool. just like one of these almost new age square composers, but he's like fifty or something. So he's like I don't know. Is he really that junior compared to sure. Umatsu? But that seems young um, for a composer. Yeah, for some reason. I <laughs> yeah, yeah, in a way, yeah. Uh, yeah. I can, it's confusing yeah. how it all works. Yeah. Yeah, right on. That's a, it's a good recommendation, Tanner. Uh, I'm sure we'll be... God, we could do an entire episode of The Deepest Dive just on the Rebirth soundtrack, I'm sure. Uh, yes. It's going to be it's gonna be bananas. <laughs> That'll be our celebration of the best game music for 2024, I'm sure, with Emily Reese on the main podcast. I'm sure all we'll do is talk about Rebirth. Top 200 tracks. Yeah. <laughs> Ranked. <laughs> uh, sweet. Well, Tanner, thanks for your support. Greatly appreciate it. 
Yep, have a good one. Yeah, all right, Thanks, take care. Too. Take care. Uh, B. Wood says, I can't call in, but I'm curious to ask what their favorite moment from the deepest dive on 7 Remake was. And I know you guys were on it, but also it is a wild blur, but do, do you guys have stuff that stands out? What do you remember from that experience of, of recording it? Uh, what, what do I <laughs> I remember Roche. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got Roche. We got screaming about Roche. Uh, yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of stuff about Walmart. A lot of Chocobo Sam. Oh, yeah. Um, Chocobo Sam. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, Madame Don, Butterfly. Yeah. Don, um, Don Corneo, too. Um, <laughs> everything pervy and good. Was I, I, I mean, I remember really geeking out about the, uh, uh, just like the whole uh graveyard uh, train graveyard a sequence with yeah. with Aerith and tifa and, and cloud that was just i don't know it was just a lot of cuteness very fun uh yeah yeah i it's so weird because we were doing the quote-unquote celebration of final fantasy 7 where we streamed all of midgar and, and played the dirty dirge mm -hmm. and this is now insane in retrospect but the plan was if you all recall that you guys weren't going to be on the deepest dive it was a pretty late thing where it was like there was a riot in the street. <laughs> yeah. Where I was like, would you guys want to do this? Are you up for it? It's such a weird yeah. thing. Because I felt very sensitive about that. Of like, ah, I don't know, mixing like old friends with mid-match people. Right. Like, it just yeah. feels so personal. You yeah, know, it felt true. like I was really, now I don't care. Yeah, yeah, Have yeah, at yeah, these no. guys, yeah. please. Uh, we're seasoned <laughs> content pros. <laughs> Uh, but at the time, I was just, I remember feeling really sensitive and nervous about it. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. And then it was like, our most beloved piece of content. It's like, okay, I can relax. <laughs> All right, clearly I'm the uptight one. I can stop screaming at these guys. Yeah, I know. It was, I, like, it was a blast. It was a lot of fun. And, you know, it then I feel like it was all around a very positive experience and yeah. um I think the thing is, is like, as you said, it was like, uh, we talked for 14 hours. In my head, it would be like, like, how long do you think it was? I'd be like, oh, six, oh, six funny. hours, you know? It's like, I, I didn't get bored. So. I told the story on bonus pod, but I should tell you, I, uh, I was talking to Katase, who's the original director of Final Fantasy VII, and he's mm. the producer for Rebirth and stuff. And he asked me like, oh, so did you end up liking Remake? And I was like, oh, very much so, very much so. And I said like, yeah, we actually, we podcasted about it for 14 hours. <laughs> wow. Yeah, <laughs> and, he yeah, go, yeah. and he said, I don't think I could talk about that game for 14 <laughs> hours. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I said, yeah. you've been talking about that game for two decades. And he goes, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sweet little moment. Uh, well, hey, I think that's it for uh, the big bonus podcast talking about Final Fantasy 7, a beginner's guide to Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Lot to tackle. Yeah. Cannot I'm emphasize very enough. excited. This is, I just feel so lucky that I care so much about this thing. <laughs> right. That we get to unpack it in a big way. No, absolutely. And uh, I just like, like all those moments where it's just like, oh, I wish we could say more. And we will at some point. Yeah. yeah. What's the date today? The 12th? Yeah. So we got what? Two weeks in a couple days? Basically. Hope you haven't played the demo. <laughs> you guys haven't played the demo, have you? <laughs> we're saving enthusiasm. So we're going to go into more details soon on the Patreon. But the plan as of right now, on the these guys shoot me a death glare, is we're going to be kicking off the deepest dive for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth before the game comes out. Mm. Because technically the demo is the first chapter of the game. Which you can't play. Well, you can't. <laughs> Don't even th are you thinking about the demo? Stop no, it. no, Stop no. <laughs> um, so uh, we'll be collecting your comments uh, on the 25th, <laughs> Sunday, the 25th of February. And then the first episode, first discussion is going to be that Monday, the 26th, where we're talking about chapter one of the deepest of uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And then we're going to be hitting you every week after that. There's going to be a break halfway through March where I'm going to be at GDC and stuff. And it's going to be an in-studio deepest dive. Yeah. Some things are going to be shifting expect the unexpected um, um or I, the expected can i bring my uh, webcam though I, it, I think it'd be more comfortable for can everybody. i be in yeah. black and white yeah and we'll make everyone's audio sound terrible just like in the last one uh, i want to relive that pasty experience where i look like a, <laughs> you give me the pasty experience a sheet of paper on a camera <laughs> Uh, so there's a lot of stuff, and yeah, we're going to be rotating in some some different folks uh, throughout it. Uh, is going to be the plan for the deepest dive on Rebirth. So look alive for all that stuff. More details coming soon. But that's it. I hope you join us for the deepest dive on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And I hope you, even if you haven't played Final Fantasy VII, if you're listening to this, thank you. Thank you. There's a, there's a recap at the start of Rebirth. You're fine. Jump on in and join us for Rebirth. We want to have people's perspectives that haven't played the original. I think it'd be more fun in a yeah. lot of ways. Yeah. Like, no, there's absolutely. a lot of hardcore fans, but we're looking for the full range to join us for the deepest dive. Uh, Ronnie Grant, me. thank you guys. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Oh, yeah, yeah of course. Uh, thanks to everybody who called in, and uh, we'll be back soon for 
more rebirth content than you can shake a stick at. Rebirth after birth. All right. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye. <laughs> you can help support independent games media by subscribing to Mimnax on YouTube here, or you can support us over on Patreon to unlock a weekly Patreon exclusive podcast called Party Chat. You can call into our podcast. You can put a picture of your choice on every Mimnax video. Mimnax is a Patreon about games, friends, and getting better, and we exist because of you. Any help telling a friend's appreciated.